fine point on that. And that's just a sort of devastating sort of um, thing, certainly for Democrats who looked at Mueller and looked at his investigation as something that was going to get to the bottom and answer these things. So like many things, when the fire comes from inside, in the sense here, you have an insider, a member of the team coming forward to speak out like this and to describe how this deputy of Mueller's, uh, Aaron Zebley, was an obstacle to getting to the bottom of things, it, it just really, really tarnishes the legacy of this investigation. Yeah, and you, uh, of course, the most damning uh, thing we've learned over the past month is the fact that Donald Trump's own director of national intelligence, not a Democrat, a Trump appointee, a lifelong Republican, a Republican senator, an evangelical, a Republican ambassador, uh, left his job believing that Donald Trump was compromised uh, by, uh, by Vladimir Putin. I'm, I'm wondering if uh, you get from this book uh, the, uh, and from all of your reporting, uh, if you get uh, the feeling or, uh, or if you have reporting where people that were working with Robert Mueller said that he was physically uh, and mentally um, uh, somehow uh, compromised by uh, health challenges, and that made him less effective. So as I write in my book, Mueller struggled in the practice sessions that he had leading up to his testimony. He struggled uh, to recall basic facts about the investigation. And what's going on at this time while Mueller is struggling in these practice sessions is that they're trying to get his deputy, Aaron Zebley, at the table with Mueller to testify because they wanted Zebley there to, to be able to answer questions. Then Mueller, the, the Republicans ultimately push back on that and you have Mueller more or less testifying by himself. And if you talk to folks that know Mueller, or if you've even watched Mueller testify before. Mueller had testified probably before Congress more than any other living American, because he had been the FBI director for 12 years, testifying constantly on Capitol Hill. The, the Mueller that testified, it was just a different, it was just a different Mueller. Um, and his testimony was not very effective at sort of, um, of, of establishing the, the facts of the investigation and being authoritative here. The struggle of the Mueller investigation that you have to look at, certainly since it's been completed, is that Mueller sort of seeded the ground in terms of the public relations on this. That allowed Barr to come in and hold his press conference and clear the president the way that he did. It allowed for the, the report to be um, taken in different directions by the Republicans. And by seeding that ground and not saying anything and not having their story out there, they have been hurt. Now we are hearing from an insider in one of the fir first accounts and it's not a flattering picture.